In this video, I'm going to talk about the four mistakes that you might be making in your videos because I know that I am definitely making them in mine. But from here on out, I pledge to nail these four things and then build from there and just get better and better with my videos. So if you're interested in learning what I'm learning about video production for YouTube or really any social media platform, then watch this video. Number one I am so guilty of is just talking aimlessly with no point, with no beginning, middle, end, just making a video just to make a video. So being that I want to do much better in my engagement, get, get my subscribers up and, and monetize my channel eventually, I need to start scripting my videos. They don't have to be like totally scripted. They are ridiculously like strict and to the second, but I think most videos in order for viewers to watch them, they have to have a, a point. They have to have to have, you know, something that somebody wants to watch all the way through and you don't feel kind of like you're going down this rambly road and you don't know where it, where it is. Unless it's a really good story. Yes, but I'm not doing those kind of story telling videos. So here on out, I'm going to be scripting my videos, at least a rough outline of what I'm going to be talking about. That way I know what my title can be. Actually, you know what? That's going to be the next thing is number two is not filling out all the available information because if you don't know what you're talking about, so tip number one, if you don't know if you're talking aimlessly and you don't know what you're talking about, you don't know what to, and I'm speaking to you from experience. If I don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know where I'm going and how I'm ending up there. I can't fill out a thumbnail. I can't fill out the title. I can't fill out the description because if I'm talking out about a bunch of, a bunch of different things, <laughs> It's really hard to pinpoint any one thing to say what your video is about. So number two, I would say when you've made your video is not filling out all of the available information with the keywords and the things that are going to get the viewers attention, right? So the title has to be grabbing, the thumbnail has to be grabbing. You have to have keywords in your description. Um, you should be using tags in the video. You should be using end cards. You should be using chapters. So like, if you don't do what number one, like I said, scripting, you don't know what your video is about. So then you can't fill out all the information video to get picked up in search or just to be suggested to people. So number one and number two really go together in my mind. So I'm going to start working on all of that, just optimizing my titles, my thumbnails, my description, my tags, all of it and, and dial it in so that I can get suggested to people. I can get more views. The third thing that I am so guilty of is not mixing up the video on the screen, not using B rolls and not breaking up the monotony of me talking to the camera, watching someone for five, 10, 15, 20 minutes of them just straight talking is really boring. <laughs> so I am going to start introducing editing elements into my videos, stuff on screen, B rolls, you know, some like words that are kind of going to come across, you know, like little things that can fly through this just to make it more interesting. I'm going to start using Canva. I know that a lot of people use other things. I happen to love Canva. So I'm going to start using that. And then I'm going to make a video on how I used Canva to, to do those things. And then number four, I'm so guilty of this as well is ignoring my sound and my lighting. I, I'm so guilty of this. It takes a lot to set up your studio. And if you are like me, where you don't have a dedicated space in your home, that can get challenging to keep moving stuff around or you know, just finding the right lighting. I had like an 18 inch ring light and I always found that it was really difficult for me to get my phone. I'm using my 12 Pro Max, iPhone 12 Pro Max, to get my phone in and out of the thing I, I was just like, I didn't want to use it. So then my lighting just really, really sucked. Um, and then I all, a lot of times I didn't use sound today. I'm using a microphone. I know that I talk softly and I need to be using a microphone. So that would be the next mistake that I am swearing I am going to get right. I've got a key light here. I'm just trying to get better lighting in the room overall. I've got something visually interesting behind me because I have a TV here. I don't know where else to film this. So, you know, I, instead of having a blank TV, I just put up something on YouTube, another channel of a space thing. So let me know in the comments, are you guilty of one or all four of these things? I'm very curious if we have the same problems as a new creator. I, I mean, I think we probably all fall into these things unless you are just like a super genius and you just pick it up like that. I don't seem to pick it up that fast. 
it's taken me a long time to learn these things. Also, I would love to know how you like the editing on this video. Did you notice the things that I added? I added B-roll. I added interesting things into the, the video transitions. Did you like what I put? Was it more exciting? Okay, time to wrap it up. Just I wanted to make a short, quick video to go over the four things that I know that I'm making a mistake on. And I vow to plan and edit and, and just take more time with each video because I think it is so important to make it an experience for the viewer to watch. So that's all. I am going to quit talking now and I hope that you have a fantastic day. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.